begin your reading right now. If you want any of my info, like how to book a personal reading, it is all below. And okay, I don't know if that's in reverse or not, but we'll decide after. Let me just get two more cards out for Sagittarius for March. Wow, something is coming in. This is beautiful. And what's at the bottom? The moon card. So you may not even know about it, but let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Sagittarius, we are beginning with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be your energy, especially if you're a female. Um, the overall message I'm getting is that there's a new beginning coming in. Now, this can have to do with the Piscean, but regardless, it's with someone that you have a lot of love for. We have the High Priestess. This could be someone that you kind of kept in the dark or had a situation like that because we also have the moon card high priestess energy here with the ace of um, cups and then we have the hermit underneath that we're going to look into these and then we're going to dissect them a little by clarifying so this is an energy of someone who's very generous practical um, materialistic i mean sagittarius that actually sounds like you a little um because i know sagittarians do like to it's not about being materialistic, but have good quality things. It's just a, what I notice. Um, also practical, okay? And yeah, Sagittarians are like that. A love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. It's really cool because you're coming up as the queen of wands energy. Like you're coming up as a queen of wands, but I feel like it's your energy, Sag. So really interesting. So there's about to be a change in a situation. Um, and it could be in matters of a relationship or some sort of a connection you have to someone. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it is going to be a positive change, um, regardless if it's the ending of a connection, because it's in the reverse here. Let me see what that's associated to. That's associated actually to the Tower, this card. It's the Two of Wands. It's associated to the Tower. Did I get the right one? Let me just see. No, I didn't. It's associated to the, to the Temperance, okay. So whatever is ending, it's like it was supposed to end. It's healing. It could be a long-term situation. It could be a family situation, something that you were heavily connected to. But it's been it's been chopped, okay? There is still, like, part of the bark there, the base of the tree, the tree trunk there. But technically, you know, it's been chopped. Um, it's come down. It's already come down, this energy. Something has already been released here. That was part of the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like it came in and exploded something, it destroyed it a bit here. Um, and now we have this new energy coming in with the Eight of Wands. This is absolutely beautiful. It's associated with chariot energy as well. And this talks about a lot going on. Um, so here it's, it talks actually a little bit about a little bit of stress as well because it's so powerful what's coming in, but it's positive opportunities, unexpected events, rapid changes, the ability to multitask, and then also business travels are associated with this. Um, I just feel like this is pushing you into a new level, okay, of some sort. So if you are looking for world recognition, that will be happening, um, this could be something that's very close to your heart coming in with the moon card and the ace of cups. Like I already said, um, this is something that could have been kept in the kept secret. Okay, let's clarify. So it will help us explain more as to what's going on. Whatever it is, it's all good because the Wheel of Fortune and the World card are very positive. And the moon card as well is positive. Um, because things eventually get come out of the dark, right? So let's see the Queen of Pentacles and what's going on with the Queen of Pentacles. Strength card. Oh, your energy, Sag. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, a heart, a little bit of healing heartbreak, right? And that really what is what it's about. The Three of Swords, but they're healed. Um, okay, we'll take two there. And we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, clarified by the Moon and the World card. And the moon, the star. You got the star, the moon. You're just missing the sun a little. Let's see what's happening here. It's a wish coming true. So the strength card is what's clarifying the queen of pentacles. And what I really get is that it's literally saying like, yes, this is representing you. Um, you have a very, you have some sort of, I'm getting a magnetic power to you, by the way. So you're very attractive. You may have actually broke someone's heart by leaving them. 
you may have decided to cut something off. Five of Swords here, Queen of Wands here, and make like did I call, did I say executive decision for you? Because I think I said executive uh, executive decision for someone. Uh, for another sign, but I feel like you're making the executive decision here, sitting on your throne. Um, you know, everyone's watching you, what you're going to decide, and you're like, you know, I'm deciding, I'm deciding fairness, balance, and I'm cutting out um, what's been happening here. Tower, oh no, healing card energy. I keep on wanting to say tower card because something has happened. Now, with the moon card, this is something um, I really feel coming to light here because. Look at how it's shining down, this knowledge. It's like a pathway. Come out of the dark, come into the light. This is something coming forward to you. And whatever this is, it's going to make you um, totally release what was holding you back. So I don't know if some of you picked up a bad drinking habit because of whatever situation you're in. You're going to release that. You're looking at things different. You're looking at things with a new perspective with optimism because there's the three cups there. Um, and like rejoice. You're, you're very happy. I'm getting rejoiced, but I don't know what you're rejoicing for. You're going to be reconnecting. Maybe you're going towards somewhere. We do have that love energy, maybe a Piscean, maybe someone you put to rest. Look what's here. We have the page of wands kind of saying goodbye, but I mean, six of cups, maybe it's a connection you put to rest. Anyhow, with the moon card and the star card, there's a wish that's going to um, be fulfilled. That's the best way to put that energy. There's a wish that's going to be fulfilled. Um, it's like happening in the dark, though. We have the moon, the moon, the star. Like, it's not. We don't have the sun yet, Leo or Sagittarius. Though um, we have strength energy here. We do have some Leo energy here. Maybe you Sagittarius that are watching have strong Leo. I don't know why I'm getting that, but maybe because I just said Leo. But we have a king for one energy, and let's see what else we have for the other energy. The rebel. So with the king energy, this is about a leader, uh, someone who's in charge. This could be who you're moving towards, right? Um, Whatever it is, there's a very strong masculine energy here. And guess what? It looks like a king of pentacles. So this is someone who's matching your strong energy, the strength card, the queen of pentacles. And I mean, there's no four kings in this deck. It's one king, but he's holding a pentacle. And I always think that. So you're actually, I believe, going to be coming into... Um, an encounter with a match of yours. Now here we have a rebel challenges authorities to affect social change, rejects spirit uh, to affect social change, reject rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. This could be you um, because it is a feminine energy. This could be you calling into calling in your perfect match because you're not caving in for anyone. You're going against the grain. You're leaving a situation. It's over. You're going for what you want. And even you could be putting something from the past to rest, you know? But I do feel like this person is coming back and like it is someone that you possibly did put to, to rest. Even the hermit card there. We have the page of wands. You might have had a quick encounter with this person, but in and out, page of pentacles, gone. Going to focus on other stuff, going to do work, going to do whatever wherever life brings people, right? Okay, so Sag, that's your reading. You're my last reading of the night. Hope I didn't stutter too much. That happens once I get like, you know, to the 12th reading. <laughs> it can happen. I'm a little sleepy. But every reading has turned out amazing. I'm really happy that I um, did them and completed them all. I love to complete them all in the same day to keep that um, same energy, right, for March so thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. If you do want to book a personal reading, all my info is below. I do have a Patreon membership that you can join. I post exclusive videos on there um, and the extendeds. Whenever I do extended, they're all on there. And yeah, I'd really love to see you. I'd really appreciate it. And otherwise, have a beautiful, beautiful uh, day. Bye for now.